Install Termipore just before flooring or PCC when the soil is compacted and leveled. Plan installation grid and injection points. Always try to loop the Termipore pipe at one place so it comes back to where it starts. That way you can get both inlet and outlet in one junction box or injection point. You may mark the areas. Termipore pipe will be laid to make digging easier and straight. Dig grooves about 2 inch wide and 4 inch deep. To ensure that Termipore does not compress with the weight of the concrete, the depth at which Termipore pipe is installed will need to increase with increasing weight of concrete on the soil. 4 to 6 inches may be sufficient for a low level building, but for tall high rise buildings, Termipore may need to be installed at a depth of 2 feet or more. Do consult the site structural engineer to ensure proper installation. You can install Termipore pipes in either a grid of about 4 by 4 feet or in straight lines about 4 feet apart. Once the grooves are ready, pour a little coarse sand in it, just a little, enough to make a bed for Termipore pipes. Ensure that Termipore pipe and accessories as well as pump and termiticide are ready. Start laying termipore in these grooves. Fix the pipe in place using the hooks as needed. This is so that the pipes do not move till the flooring is laid over the soil. You can install around soft corners without adding an L joint or elbow. Termipore pipe is hard and will not bend or squeeze. At sharp bends with less turning radius, use elbow or L joints. At cross sections, you can choose to use a T or a four-way jointer. You can even take one pipe over the other at cross sections. You will often need to cross over a beam when installing Termipore. Ensure you use plain pipes and encase it in hard PVC pipes when crossing a beam. Termipore anti-termite reticulation pipe installed at plinth before construction. Do not bring Termipore pipe above ground. Connect plain pipes at injection point. Install the injection box at the selected place about one foot from the floor bottom. Testing while the pipe is still open and visible is extremely important after laying Termipore. Do not bypass this step under any circumstances. This is the last chance you will get to make changes to the installation. Test the system by injecting water using a pump. Inject from one end of the inlet pipe and wait till it comes out of the other. Once the water comes out of the other end of the pipe, close it using end plug. You will see water oozing out everywhere along the length of the pipe. There may be slight variations in the quantity of water oozing out depending on length of installation. However, in a few minutes, you should see all grooves getting slightly wet. Check that every area is getting wet properly. You may need to make changes to the length of pipe installed for every injection point or change the location of T and elbows, etc. If the soil has not been treated properly with termiticide, you can do that at this stage. If it is already treated, then you may skip this part. Prepare the required quantity of termiticide solution and inject through the injection point. Inject about 25% through Termipore system. That way, you can again test the system and also protect the pipes.
Close both the pipes using end plugs. A good practice is to use brass nipples as inlets for more longevity of the inlet points. Ensure you close the junction box after injection so no foreign particles go in the pipes. Cover the pipe with coarse sand. This will ensure termipour is always sandwiched between two layers of coarse sand and the type of soil never affects performance of termipour. Cover the sand with the soil from the site, totally concealing the system. Spray or pump the balance 75% of the termiticide solution all over the site. Note, if you suspect that the water used for diluting the termiticide was hard water or high in salts, flush the pipe with a small quantity of soft or RO water to avoid calcification in the micro holes. Do tag us hashtag termipore whenever you post pictures and videos of your installations.